like you, um, how do you deal with dads? Because we were talking about this earlier, and we'll, we'll get into it. But how how do do <laughs> um, how did her dad like you when y'all first met? I think we hit it off like I think me and parents in general have always hit it off yeah. fairly well. Why is that? I don't know. I think it's I think it's honesty and realness. I think no yeah. matter where you go in life, I think sometimes if you obviously if you put on a facade, people can can spot that. But I've never switched the way I talk to like I would talk to you the way I would talk to her family or her anybody. I kind of just treat everybody the same. See, that's interesting you said that because I like to fake it real hard when I first meet dad. Oh, really? And dad, dad's love. You don't think they they don't you don't think they know? No, I mean I wouldn't say fake, but more like a, a job interview. You feel me? Because I like to just put my 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 first my best foot forward, um, and uh, so like whenever I meet dads. It's Especially back then, you know, I used to dress differently. The clothes were a lot bigger and shit. So I used to make sure Jenko. like- Jenko. I never, I never went Jenko <laughs> status, but definitely I got I got the big the big pants from Miller's Outpost and <clears throat> okay, shit, yeah. you know? So I'd always, if I ever met a dad, I always made sure the pants were pulled up. I wasn't sagging. Mm. I always made sure to give a good handshake. I always, I always give this advice. Like when I'm, when I'm meeting a dad or even a, a girl or even a, anybody for the first time, I don't just do the one hand. I do two handed handshakes. Mm. Cause what that is, it, it forces eye contact. You feel me? So it feels a little more more like oh hey it keeps my hand warm as fuck oh i'm very warm you are very cold yeah, why are you yeah. so cold i'm nervous and insecure <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i do the two-hand handshake i pull my pants up and i always make sure i laugh at whatever joke he says you know even if saying? it's bad even if it's bad can i hear the courtesy laugh yeah okay say 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 a say you're a dad and you just made a bad joke and i was like chicken nuggets <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah no for real oh yeah no chicken nuggets yeah <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, good. Wow, we hear that a lot. I feel like that was the way you've always been towards me. Yeah. So I feel like you've just been courtesy <laughs> laughing our entire relationship. You're right. Nah, nah. He, he's full of facade. He's full of facade. I, mm. I am, but you got to know how to play the game. You know so, what I'm saying? As we're talking about meeting parents, I really started to think about if I've ever formally been introduced to a parent. When you met someone's mom or dad, how did that happen? <laughs> I know I've stumbled across kind of like, oh, hi. <laughs> nice to not. I'm not normally like this, but it's oh, so very you, nice you met to the parents you. through shock. It was, I, you didn't, you yeah. weren't ready to meet them. I've never had like a formal, hey, let's sit down. Let's meet my parents. It's more like you're around you're gonna meet the parents oh it was like nice to meet you here's mom dad grandpa grandma kind of yeah rush always Mm -hmm. you ever have the we're gonna go sit down and have dinner with my parents i don't recall uh if anything i felt like it was after we'd already kind of established something so then Mm -hmm. it's like okay well now it's time that we should all get some dinner but it wasn't like a well, I guess that is kind of what you said, huh? Yeah, you just kind of just kind of happened. I don't ever think I've had a formal, "Hey, let's go meet my parents now" type of situation. Yeah. No, I, I guess I have only because like they live a little far, okay. So it was like a plan to go there, mm-hmm. and then you can't not plan. Oh, smart. Yeah. The only day you know girls that parents don't live nowhere close. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> But yeah, but but it's never been like I think it's time to meet my parents. Yeah, I've never. never had it's usually that. a natural thing, right? For yeah. me, it's always been like a natural thing. Like yeah. it'd be like some type of oh, there's a family event going on, and mm-hmm. I was like, okay, so it's probably gonna end up happening. Yeah. But uh, I, I, lucky for me, when I first met Chia's dad, because we were doing long distance shit, it was through Facetime. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. And so we were on like Skype and shit. Chatting. Oh, you were just hoping the Wi-Fi was good because if it they fuck up your shit, it's like awkward. I know, right? right? <laughs> like, well, you know, well, I was, I was, so I, I made sure to like, I put my dick away immediately, and then like, there's a dad. No, I'm just playing. But like, we we're chatting. I on, imagine you did. I mean, I didn't, no, no, I, I was I, playing. I can't. No, I left it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we were. Uh, I remember we were on Skype. She was like, oh, my dad, my dad's here. My dad came in, her dad came in the room. And um, first thing he came, he was like, I, I'm, you know, we had already kind of been talking for a while. So he knew who I was. And so he came in the room. He was like, Tim, my man. And I was like, oh, shit. Hey, what's up, sir? How that's you doing? Not, that's good. Yeah, no, it was yeah. real good. So, I, But I wasn't sure how good that was because I had never talked to him before. Right? Okay. So I, we talked a little bit. He left the room and she was like, babe. He has never called any boy that I've been seeing my man ever. And I was like, holy shit. That's a good shit. sign. Yeah. I was like, I'm different. I'm different. You know what I'm saying? So that, that was that was that was nice for me. Do you uh and, and this this might sound a little arrogant, but I feel like it, was there a difference when you would meet like girls like parents and family before shit started cracking off for your career? Cause I feel like there is a little bit of change when the parents actually are aware of who they're meeting and they have some type of like, you know, uh, 
presence or like already set thing. Well, you tell me because I've never, I've never really experienced. Oh, you just that. been famous your whole life. No, no. <laughs> you tell me, Mister Took um, Forever to get here. <laughs> I've been here, homie. So, how was it for you? No, no. I was saying because they didn't know I was doing shit like that. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> they didn't know I had like that was my career when me and her started dating. They didn't know that's what it was. That's kind of nice though. Yeah. So I'm saying. So for you, how was that? No, I think I think. There is a little bit of a switch, but also it was at an age where like I was 21 when everything started popping off for me. So uh-huh. that that high school relationships, I don't think any parents can take it that serious. Mm. So oh, okay. I, I don't know. I feel like I've only experienced maybe the opposite, but I kind of just hope they like me for me and you just. 